In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up the market snapshot by top producer in your WordPress website. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your site or into your top producer account rather. And so here we are, we're logged in and we're going to go to setup and inquiry capture setup. So once we're here, you're going to choose, this is the first and most basic and simple way, and this is um, the easiest way to set it up and fastest way to set it up. So you're going to choose Lead Inquiry Capture Setup right here under Inquiry Type. So this is going to be the easiest way to set this up, and it is going to be the quickest way to set it up. There's a couple of different things that you can do here, and I'm going to show you both of them. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the inquiry type, which is lead inquiry capture setup. Um, you could do the news newsletter subscriber setup if you were also doing that in this section, but we're not. We're going to do the market snapshot. So we're going to choose lead inquiry capture setup. The text link, we're just going to leave alone. The heading, market snapshot, you can change this if you want. Um, market snapshot of your area. You can change the subheading if you want as well. Inquiry source is really important. You want to, because when you get a lead, you want to know where it's coming from. So if you have multiple websites, you want to set up a different inquiry for each website. Uh, how do you want to display the phone field? I always put required here. You can make it optional. And do you want to ask if the consumer is working with another agent? Again, this is something that is personal preference. You can check this on or off. I choose not to. And then you can also choose the color of the, um, the theme. Um, the design. You have a box design or curved design. If you have a top producer website, you're going to choose top producer website. But in this case, I'm going to choose curved design because that's the prettiest one. So I'm going to make this one red. And you can click preview. I'll show you an example. You need to make sure that you do have your credentials all filled in because this is important. It will show you um, what it's going to look like on the site. So there's two different ones that you can use. This is the text link that you can get, and this is the form, the web form that you can get. So these are the two different ones that you can frame, one that you can frame, one that you can display. So this is what it'll look in red. And you can choose get web form or get text link. Now I am going to iframe this into my site. I can use get web form, and it's going to iframe it. But this is going to be the shorter version. So the smaller version. So what I've done in this case is I've gone ahead and I've created a new page inside WordPress. I've added new, called it Free Market Snapshot. And basically, you just paste the uh, code right in here using the text editor. And then you update the page. And then open the page up and refresh it and this is what you're going to get. So it's really tiny and small and it's not the best option for a full-blown page. You'd ra probably rather you see the big version which looks a lot nicer. So in this case I'm going to go back to my tools and I'm going to choose get text link. So now it's giving me a text link and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my page now I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm just going to replace the link in this iframe code. This is the easiest way, especially if you don't know code. And I'm going to change the height. Play with this for a second to 700. And the width, I'm going to make it 100 and a percent sign. I'm going to update it. Now let's go refresh the page. There you go you have the full market snapshot. Nice and centered and beautiful, and that's all you have to do. Now, another thing that I do like to do, get the web form, grab this code, go over to Appearance and Widgets, and I like to add a text widget over into the sidebar. 
you don't know how to do this, it's actually pretty easy. I'll delete that one. Come down on the left-hand side and scroll until you find the text widget. Click it. Make sure default sidebar is checked and add that widget. It'll bring you right up here into the default sidebar and drag it where you want it to be. Then expand it and in the title, free market snapshot. And paste that right in there. Then save it. Now if you go to your site and refresh it, you're going to see every page that has this sidebar will also have the market snapshot here, which isn't really great if you're on the market snapshot page, but let's say you're on the blog page, you're reading a blog, that market snapshot will show up there. So that's pretty cool. Now, one of the other things that you can do, Top, um, Top Producer has this really cool page called tools.topproducer.com, where they give you these really neat little um, tools that you can use to build kind of a landing page for your site. So one of them, for instance, is to estimate your home's value. There is a uh, contact us and kind of a landing page. So neat stuff. So here's how we're going to do this. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just going to go through each one of them individually. The quick lead widget creator. Create embeddable widgets for use on your personal website or WordPress blog and incoming leads go directly to your top producer account. So I'm going to create my quick lead widget. It's going to ask me for my username first. And It's just a contact form. Go ahead and copy it. And a good place to put this would be the after entry. So I will take the text and add it into the after entry and place it right in there. back to the tools and then let's do the quick snapshot widget creator okay I think I'll make black. Again, same thing. You can just place that 
one neat one to put in the after engine. So this one they made a page and put estimate your home's value, market snapshot, and then they used that same widget in that exact page. So it might be a good thing to do in the What's My Homework page, for instance. So in this example, I have a different form here, but you could actually put something like this at the top and then put that form down here at the bottom. And it's very easy, and then that form would feed right into your top producer, making it perfect for your CMA to follow up with those leads. Very excellent tool for you. All right, so now create your landing pages. Let's see. There you go. Awesome little landing page that you can use wherever you want. So what's your home worth? Any your details below to find out. go and he will automatically send it to me. So you could actually take this page and put it directly into your email or anywhere else as a what's your home worth link. So that's how you can use the top producer market snapshot to generate some great leads and embed it in your WordPress website. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at support at your site needs me .com. Have a great day.